Christy Sampson, and welcome to Ask Christy. I spoke at the National Worship Leader Conference in San Jose, and I have a few more tips to share with you about how children's choirs can grow worshipers for life. We teach children what worship is, um, the celebrated response to what God has done in the past, is doing, and promises to do in the future. Amazing. Um, this book here, Teaching Kids Authentic Worship, it has 52 ideas for worship moments, and it's written by Kathleen Chapman. Um, it's not really about music, if I recall. It's mostly activities, just teaching kids to tell God how great he is and, and teaching them. Uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting. Could you say their it, author? Yes, it's right. Kathleen Chapman. Okay, thank you. 52 ideas for worship moments. And honestly, some of it was a little different, but it's worth reading. It's interesting. And it, it, yeah, like I said, it's not really uh, about music. So it's, it talks about having kids, you know, just go around and say something about God. God, you are great. God, you are, you did this, you did this, you did this. And saying that's worship. It's not about us. So that's cool. Worship needs to be focused on God, not on ourselves. And I think the more we tell kids these things, they're going to understand them. But let's not assume that they know it. Um, okay, so we can we can also focus on our songs and make sure that we're talking how many times does the word God appear in our songs as opposed to me or I or whatever. And don't just assume because a song sounds amazing that it's a good song. And as musicians, you know, we I love a song to sound good, but you do have to look at it and be like, well, it's not saying anything, unfortunately. And similarly, I like to um, write songs that are that are based on, on scripture. Um, because that's really, in my mind, that's really the only thing that matters, kind of. And I'm not a great lyricist, so if I just get some good Bible verses, put them in a song, that's just what I do. 95% <laughs> of my songs are just based on a Bible verse. And if I can, I put the reference in there, too. Oh, wow. Oh, that's my goal. That is my goal. Because <laughs> I know so many Bible verses, and I don't know where they're from. There's, I mean, if, if I know 100 Bible verses from growing up, not that I'm great at it now, but from growing up, if I know 100 Bible verses, I probably know three references. I really do. I just, and, you know, to try to memorize them as an adult is much harder. Those numbers just get jumbled around. But as kids, it's much, much easier.